Look at this beautiful creek. This is a new creek. I've never fished it before. It's overgrown in some sections. It's open in other sections. I am really excited about this one. And I'm especially excited today because I'll be fishing a new rod. This is the Dragon Tail Foxfire ZX280. This is a small triple zoom rod. I think this is the smallest triple zoom rod on the market. Uh, if you can think of a smaller one, let me know, leave a comment below. It goes from about six feet, a little over six feet to a little over nine feet. I'll put the exact lengths on the screen here. This was sent to me by Brent from Dragon Tail to test and to make videos about and everything. The unique thing about this rod, apart from its short length in all three of its lengths, is that it has a higher fiberglass content. Now, I'm not enough of a traditional fly angler to be familiar with fiberglass rods versus carbon fiber rods, and I don't really know what the difference is, but apparently it's just like a smoother, slower, different feeling cast when the rod has more fiberglass content in it. And so I'm excited to put that to the test to try it for myself and hopefully catch some fish in here. I have an idea of what fish are in here, what species. I'm not gonna say, I don't wanna jinx it, but hopefully I'll catch what I, what I hope is in here. If I catch anything though, I'll be happy. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna save my overall thoughts on the rod till the end of the video. Let me fish with it for an hour or two. I'm fishing it right now in the middle length. Let's put it in the shortest length, see what it feels like to cast. Yeah, that feels good, wow. Feels surprisingly soft for a rod of this length. I really like triple zoom rods for small creek fishing. I think they're really useful. I don't switch up the line length very much when I'm fishing these creeks with a triple zoom rod, but I do switch the, the rod length up quite a bit. So let me switch it back to the middle length here. Feels different. Still feels good though. It needs a little bit of a slower casting stroke to cast it, for me anyway. For you and your style, it might be different. And then let's go to the longest length, the nine foot length. Yep, that feels even slower. Feels heavier. Yeah, I definitely feel the momentum of the rod more in this nine foot length. But I'm gonna fish most of this creek, I think in the middle length, unless I feel a reason to do otherwise. I don't know when you'll actually be seeing this video. As of the time of recording this, this rod is not available to purchase. It will be a Kickstarter at some point. Maybe when you're watching this, maybe later, I'm not sure. But I'll put on the screen some information about that. Yeah, this is a very flexible rod. I feel, I can definitely feel that that flex when I'm bow and arrow casting, especially. Nice and soft, this rod. Now that I'm in a more open area, I'm gonna, well, I already did, I just did, put it in the longest length. Fish it in this nice open spot. Still looking for that first fish. Oh, got one. After several casts in that area. Well, this is not the species I was hoping for. It is a pretty, pretty rainbow trout though. Very pretty actually. Eight inches long. 
See ya, buddy. Okay, got my first fish. Feels good as always to get the skunk off. Took about 15 minutes to, to get that fish. That was the first bite I've had also. Gonna keep going. Hopefully we can catch some more. Got one. There it is. It's another rainbow trout, I believe. Yep. Pretty fish. Great. Okay, now we're getting into a groove here. Now it's getting fun. It's the first fish I caught at this rod's longest length. That fish I caught at the middle length. Let's see if before the end of the day here I can catch one on the shortest length. You know, I think my favorite length in this rod is the shortest one. Which is a little bit surprising to me. I thought it would be pretty stiff. That's what I would have expected, but it feels really nice. It casts really well. It gets stuck in trees really well. Let's try not to break this brand new rod. Good, the fly stayed on. Got one. And that one is in the shortest length of this rod. We did it, did all three. Now this one, could be a baby cutthroat. Let's put the rod down here. This one looks a little bit like a baby cutthroat or a hybrid rainbow cutthroat. It does have the jaw mark, the slash under the jaw. And just the coloration in general looks more like a cutthroat than a rainbow. Yeah, that's a little cutthroat. Awesome. Got one, next cast. Next cast. By far the biggest. By far the biggest. about a nine or 10 incher. Really pretty fish. Beautiful. Things are picking up. I'll go ahead and spoil the surprise. I thought there were bull trout in here. You are allowed to fish for bull trout in Idaho. It's not legal in every state, but it is in Idaho. And I thought there were bull trout in here, and there still might be. Maybe they're higher up in the stream system. And maybe I'll still catch one today, I don't know, but I haven't seen one so far. Got one. Oh, rats. I didn't really set the hook well enough. Right there, let's see if I can somehow trick it again into taking the fly. Yep. Oh, but it's gone. Came off. Ah. 
I think a storm is brewing. And not a metaphorical one, an actual one. The sky's clouding over a bit more. Wind is picking up. That's fun. This looks too good right here. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Got one. Oh. Well. Great. Good job, me. Had a fish on. Oh, and I have one again. Oh, come on. There it is. Not sure if that was the same fish or not. I think it probably was. I doubt there were a dozen fish in that one little spot. Rainbow trout. Wow, it's gotten so much darker. This is wild. Got one? Right into the net. That was fast. Hooked him, bam, straight down into the net. Let's see. Here's a pretty cutthroat trout who does not want to stay still. See ya. Got one. Oh! Had one briefly on. It was decent too, probably eight or nine inches. Gotta watch out for the tree branches above me. Let's try this again. Got it. Yes! Now that is a colorful cutthroat. So these are West Slope cutthroat trout. I'm in Idaho, not too far from the Montana border. And I'm pretty sure these are West Slopes. This one is nice and colored up. Beautiful fish. Look at these colors, beautiful orange sides. Really, really pretty. That is such a pretty fish. Wow. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. That was one of those accidental catches where I was just getting ready to recast and a fish came with me came with the fly. I take no credit for that one. <laughs> nice little cutthroat. Got one. Decently sized. Yeah, for sure. One of the bigger ones of the day. It's a rainbow. Yeah, very nice. 11 inch fish. Really good fish for this size of stream. Got one. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, had it again. Oh, come on. 
Come on, Tristan, get it together. Got it, third time, third time around. Not the brightest fish in the world. It's a rainbow and the line is all caught up on the GoPro. I don't know where it is, there we go. This fish will not let me remove the fly. Let's try this again. Okay, fly is out. Yeah, I mean, this looks mostly like, I mean, the, the spotting pattern is rainbow. The coloration and the cutthroat slash are cutthroat. Guess it's a hybrid. It's a cut bow. Got one. Pretty, pretty fish. Nice rainbow trout, beautiful red line, red lateral line on this one. Let's catch one more, shall we? Right away, another very respectably sized fish here to hopefully finish off the day. If I can land it, don't jinx myself. Okay. Wow, this might be the biggest one yet. Eight, that's 10 inches. Yeah, that's a 10 inch fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Look at that beauty. What a pretty, pretty fish. Just gorgeous fish in this creek. Cutthroat, rainbows, cut bows. They're all gorgeous fish in here. That fish was number 12, an even dozen. Really enjoyed this creek. It's not teeming with fish, but there are plenty of fish. And uh, I mean, it's gorgeous. And I just had a really good time fishing here. And I had a really good time fishing with this rod, the Dragon Tail Foxfire ZX280. Kind of a mouthful. Dragon Tail Foxfire. Really enjoyed this rod, actually, especially in the bottom two lengths. Fantastic rod in the bottom two lengths, especially that, that six foot length. I'm surprised at how well the rod cast. It was not a broomstick. Nice and soft, really fun to cast in that bottom length and in that middle length, both really enjoyable. I felt less great about the longest length. That felt a little bit slow to me, a little bit heavy, a little bit off balance. I think it's a little bit unfair for me to judge it in that longest length without putting it a longer line on it and fishing it like I normally would. So I will do that in a future video. I'll fish it in that nine foot length and see if, if, uh, if I like it better fishing it that way as the primary length. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.